What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Tech Raj and I'm back with another player review. Now don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or Twitch, links to those sites are in the description below. First of all, I'd like to thank you guys for 5,000 subs, you guys are amazing. Now we're back to review the 96 overall 40 yard dash RG3. Now in my last player review of one of his cards, I said that he's probably not going to get another card, but this one has 95 speed, 96 throw power, 95 throw accuracy short, 92 throw accuracy deep, but only 87 throw accuracy mid. Now he does have a 93 throw on the run though. One of the key points for me is that for those of you guys that like a running quarterback, this card is pretty damn fast with 95 speed and 96 acceleration. Now, 96 throw power is pretty decent, but his running stats are pretty great. Obviously, you have a lot of good things there. I mean, the carrying is not too much to worry about, but we got to see how this guy stacks up against other quarterbacks that have been out. Now, of course, your 99 overall quarterbacks are still pretty much going to be a lot better even though he's going to be faster than all of those quarterbacks from a throwing standpoint obviously Vic is a lot better but the thing is once you start comparing him to quarterbacks around his range for the most part he's pretty much going to outperform most of those quarterbacks now here he is against the 97 overall Cam Newton the NFL honors Cam Newton and of course the NFL honors Cam Newton has better throw power. Now that ultimate freeze Randall Cunningham, I would still say is better in my opinion, although not as fast. The same throw power but better throw accuracy deep is something that I really, really like about it. This is definitely a better upgrade to those 95 overall quarterbacks that you may have. And I heard a couple people call him basically a poor man's ultimate legend, Michael Vick. Now we're gonna test that out. Obviously with the 96 throw power and the nice throw accuracy deep, you know he can throw the ball deep, but let's see how he does whenever we're throwing those medium accuracy throws. And even the deep throws, let's see how he's doing right here. Wide open throw. Whoa, whoa. Now is that going to be a problem moving out here in the review? So we're going to scroll to the left and see how we're doing. And right there you're going to see that speed manifesting itself against this defense. It's one of the things that I noticed, man. When I made them respect the deep ball, it was very easy for me then to scramble. But other things that I noticed, when you look at 87 throw accuracy mid, even though somebody has an accuracy stat in the 80s, a lot of times that means that things like that can happen. So right there you see an inaccurate throw that basically results in an interception, but man, it really made me wonder because a lot of times I would throw dots over and over like that in short to medium accuracy throws. It was the one thing I really liked about this card. And of course, man, you had the speed. I continued called and read action plays. And man, let me tell you right now, the only time that I ever fumbled was one time whenever I got hit hard in the backfield. Now, of course, man, when it came to any of those medium throws, which is what I wanted to do in this video, I wanted to make sure that I threw those throws over and over and over to see how he did. But man, the guy threw dots over and over again. Into the second quarter, time running out in the half, we had to pull a drive together to make sure that we went up in the half. And right there, look at that nice little floating pass on the run that RG3 was able to make. It really was a thing of beauty. I didn't really go into this review expecting to really be blown away by this card, but I gotta say the speed felt really great and the accuracy also felt pretty great as well. Right here as we threw it deep, I gotta say man, he was able to put balls on the money and exactly where I needed them to be at all times. Now this card isn't very expensive. You can actually complete that Combine Warrior set to get him but I think he's still right around 200K or just under 200K. In the comment section below, let me know where this card is currently right here. Oh, as you see a bag juke right there on that night. And you know what? That was enough for my opponent to call it quits right there. So I had a lot of fun running with this card, man. It's something that I did over and over. 
I know a lot of you guys like the running quarterbacks this year, the Mariotas and the Vicks and everything like that, and I could definitely see why. But let me tell you, man, if you were just going to pick this card up just for its throwing stats, that wouldn't be too bad of a decision. As you can see, the medium accuracy, I really didn't have too many problems with. I was able pretty much to make whatever throw I needed to, and rarely did I ever throw an inaccurate ball. Now, I know you guys have heard me say that about a lot of quarterbacks, but you've also seen me basically just go with my deep ball game. As you can see, man, when it came to scrambling, whether it was out of read option or not, and when it came to just all different types of routes, he was able to make it happen. I tried in this video to use a lot of the routes that maybe you guys are using. I looked around at some of uh, you know, the most popular plays in the community, but this is what I wanted to show you. When you think about speed, you probably think about long runs, but when it came to me having to scramble in a split decision, he was fast enough to be able to make it happen. Now also, a lot of the run after the, the, the running stats, I should say, it made it possible for me to be able to cut back and forth very quickly, which comes very handy. But once again, when it came to dots and having to fit in the ball into tight spaces behind or around linebackers, it was very easy to do. But then I did have a lot of long runs like what you're seeing here. Especially whenever I went into all Madden, against all Madden CPU defenses, it was really easy for me to outrun defenders. Anyway, we go into our next game. I switched up the playbook right here to the Saints playbook because I wanted to focus primarily on throwing the ball. And once again, man, it was very easy for me to pick my spots and pick apart defenses. Now, this opponent was one of the opponents that definitely wanted to stay in cover three defenses. And so, as usual, you guys know that we had something for that. But I said, you know, instead of running my normal scheme, I was going to run four verticals against this cover three to see how this RG3 would do. And as you can see, whether I was throwing bullet passes, whether I was throwing lob passes, and even if I was on the run, uh, I was able to pretty much complete whatever pass I wanted to. Now, if you wanted to know some of the drawbacks that I saw with this card, one of the things that I really didn't like, and it's not pictured on this one right here, was the fact that his wind up to throw was a rather sluggish sometimes. Now, I only saw that on extra deep passes because whenever you see it right here, if it was a bullet pass and it was more of like a medium deep range, it was very easy for me to complete those passes and the windup didn't come to be too much of a problem. But once again, man, like it, it really didn't matter what we're looking at. I mean, wherever, if I was throwing bullet passes to the back of the end zone, to corners, whatever it was, this card to me is a real big steal and I haven't seen a lot of people using them. I've been playing a lot of head to head because I'm trying to complete that ultimate master set. But man, like I don't understand why more people don't have this card right here. Now, of course, I'm dropping this review on the day that it was officially announced that RG3 was released by the Washington Redskins. And it could be that a lot of people may think that RG3 is trash in real life. But I'm telling you right now, guys, this wasn't my usual scheme. It wasn't my usual bomb squad scheme. As you can see right here, I mean, anything my opponent threw at me, pretty much every route that I was throwing was on point. So we're going to go into our final bit of gameplay. I switched back to the Browns playbook. I wanted to see what I could do. And of course, right there, that was a broken coverage. But I had started off throwing a lot of medium range to a lot of short range dots. And my opponent wasn't respecting the deep game. So you know what I had to do to him. Right there, this is another example of just how accurate he is in the short range. Now, second and 13, we went to the other side and we're picking apart the defenses on third and two. Once again, man, there wasn't much you can do. Like, I wasn't respecting anybody's usually when I was playing with him because I knew he was going to be accurate. Now, right there, we're displaying off the short scrambling skills again. And then third and 23, right before the... Oh, man. You know I had to fit in the bomb squad sound effect somewhere in this gameplay. I couldn't help myself. I told myself I was going to stay away from the scheme that makes a whole bunch of my viewers butt hurt they get upset maybe it was channeling some of the times when they got torched by similar type plays i don't know 
But anyway, my final verdict on this card is there really wasn't anything that blew me away. So like if you're a 99 overall Sieg Young user, a 99 overall Vic user, obviously you're not leaving that to get this card. But let me tell you something, it's right what you guys said. This guy is a poor man's Vic. He's a very cheap alternative to a lot of the higher end cards that are coming out right now. The 95 speed is gonna be faster than a lot of the running backs that you're using. When you talk about 92 throw accuracy deep with 96 throw power on a 95 throw accuracy short, this is a quarterback that can carry you on for a long time here in Mutt. Of course, that carry is 70, which believe it or not, is not bad for a quarterback. Anyway, go ahead and like if you're liking the play, play reviews. Guys, subscribe if you're new. Watch out for the stream tonight. I got, I moved, I got a new setup, so you should be able to check that out. Anyway, take care of yourself and peace. Now, right here, we threw it up, and here's exactly what I'm talking about once again. There was many times when he was able to outmuscle pretty much any defensive back in his way and make it into the end zone after the fact. Now right here, my opponent was trying to use the deep ball, but because of the accuracy, I was able to place it exactly where I wanted to.